buenas noches. Estamos en, en el Día de los Muertos, en Living Arts. Ella es Perla, yo soy Yuli. Perla, ¿qué es para ti el Día de los Muertos? Para nosotros el Día de los Muertos es muy especial porque recordamos a los seres fallecidos. A todo lo que, los altares que nosotros presentamos, cada, cada uh, paso es, es este, un significado para, lo, para llegar a... a a la luz que le llamamos la luz eterna. Normalmente en México nosotros festejamos el día primero y el día dos. Son días el, el día dos. El día dos lo festejamos, vamos normalmente a los panteones. Um, ahí les, les llevamos a nuestros seres queridos que han fallecido flores, um, comidas, como dijo mi compañera, um, el altar. Lleva siete escalones, en los siete escalones cada uno se va significando como donde tienen que llegar a la luz. So, se le ponen lo que más que si a ella le gusta la cerveza, cuando se mueren, pone la cerveza. When I think legacy, I think two things. I think of your past and the present. And I think of that in the sense of how it does, how that has to do with your family. Uh, when I think legacy, I think of the importance of what my grandfather Sam Suarez had left behind. And I remember as I was younger, he would, would just call us. And, you know, he's from his family, or my family's from Puerto Rico, and he would just call and speak Spanish and just talk to us. And uh, we'd be like, Grandpa, I don't even know what you were saying. But now when you have times and you look, at celebrations like the Day of the Dead where it shows the importance of remembering the loved ones that you lost. When I write that song, I perform that song, I think I like to think that his spirit is right there with me in the sense of, you know, carrying on that Suarez legacy, that being that important part or that root in our family tree. Because it wasn't for that seed of joy that he planted in us when we were kids, just calling, talking in Spanish. <laughs> Me and my brother and my sisters couldn't speak a lick of Spanish, but he would just call us anyway. All we knew was hola, <laughs> and just ran with that. But when I think legacy, I think of, Pat, like I said, the past, which is me as a young child learning and watching, and I think about the future, what I'm leaving behind for my, my own son and my, my wife. And, um, I think that's the importance of the Day of the Dead is to carry on your family legacy and always make sure you're leaving something behind, whether it's your kind spirit or your smile, but also your work ethic. Um, well, I think we come here to um, kind of reconnect with the people that we've uh, lost in our lives and to also, uh, it's part of several uh, several traditions, um, including a lot of Mexican traditions and a lot of Native American traditions that say that people die two deaths. The first one is when your body dies, and the second one is your final death, and it's the last time anyone speaks your name or tells a story about you or remembers you. And so I think everyone that puts up ofrendas to the ones they love, they're trying to make sure that they stay immortal and that they never have that second death. You know, uh, the Latino community, when you have friends and, you know, loved ones, they teach you the importance of family, just watching them and how they celebrate each other and they embrace each other. And there's beauty in that. And when you watch what I watch and what I've learned for so many of my friends about the importance of spending time with your family and just loving your family and caring your family and keeping family first, um, those values are things that we sometimes lose sight of. And but family is the connection to everything. Like. You can have a million friends, but none of them are going to be there for you like family is. And none of them are going to hold true to you like family. Some friends are, are close as brothers, you know, but there's something about blood. 
And um, when I think about a lot of my friends, from my friend Hector, my friend Marvin, uh, my friend Jose, uh, my friend David, and then just watching all these people and how they love, whether it was their mom, their dads, and just like how they always stay true to their family. And that was something that I instilled now in me. Watching my own family, you learn those own, you learn those values, but sometimes I think life will send you people who just reflect like a mirror off of you and you begin to be like, man, I can pick that trait up from this person and be better in this area with that. And as I'm older now, I'm a little bit more wiser, I've learned the importance of family and I learned the importance of keeping family first. Music is one thing, but family is a separate thing and it's all entity. And it's like, you protect family. You know, there's one thing to see, oh, this is Des, the artist, but Devontae Suarez is a whole different person. And <laughs> he's he's a whole different man. Like, you know, Des was go perform, but Devontae, you know, like, nah, I want to be with my wife and my son right now. So when I think legacy, I think family. Okay, my name is Lorraine. I am a teacher in Tulsa Public Schools, and I came out to celebrate my culture, El Dia de los Muertos, share with my students what this is all about, but this is also, also an altar that was erected for my brother who passed away five years ago. So we celebrate his life by putting up the altar and sharing with public and our family and friends of uh, his life, what it meant to us and how he still smiles on us with his nonprofit organization that we celebrate in San Antonio, Texas. When I was younger, all I thought about was life. I never really thought about how time was moving up as far as age is concerned and how it was just dwindling away. And as I became a father, the first thing I actually thought about was death. It was this thing of, what the hell am I gonna leave this kid? Like, how's he gonna remember me as a man and as his father? That's why when you hear on the song Legacy, I start off, Legacy, Legacy, Legacy. Tell me how do you remember me? I'm saying that to my son. And it's a sense of like, most kids, some, don't always have the privilege of saying that their parents are great parents. But I don't want to just be a great dad or a great parent. I want to just, like, yo, my dad is a freaking phenomenal human being. And he was the best human being and set an example of being a great person. I want my son to see that because I wanted him to understand that as we, you have my grandchildren, that you'll instill these same values into them and that there is life and then there's death. You can speak life and death. You can take, you can take life and give death. But at the end of the day, you are a powerful individual. Everything is energy. And I wanted him to understand that life and death are eternal lovers. And then you can't have one without the other. And so whatever you leave behind, whether it's your word, whether it's your deeds, whether it's financial stuff, and, some, and money is never enough, but your actions are, have all the wealth. I wanted him to understand that there's beauty in that. And I wanted him to understand and my family understand that whatever I leave behind is this legacy of that you can be better than your current situation, that you are greater. There is greatness in you, no matter what's around you, or how you're doing it, or what obstacles you have to overcome. If you're going through hell, keep going and keep moving forward. But there is greatness in you. And that's what legacy is. It's like, how will you remember me? 
Like, if, if this is the glass ceiling, are you going to break through that? Are you just going to say, hey, this is it. I'm only going to be good enough here. But if you're going to be here, give you give 100% of whatever you do. Don't half-ass anything. So, legacy, legacy, legacy. Tell me, how do you remember me? If I die tomorrow, what would you say about me? Yo, te di todo mi amor y más, y tú no reconoces si lo que es amar. Yo me puse dispuesto a tus pies, si tan solo tu expresión me ha pagado, pero Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy. 